Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how to get a Paragon character working in Unreal Engine 5.4 for PC keyboard and mouse only. I'm doing this because I'm going to be doing some tutorials about the animation blueprint. And these Paragon assets have a ton of sophistication in the animation blueprints. But to get it to work, we need to restore the original access and action mappings. I'm having issues trying to restore it any other way. So I'm just bringing it into 5.4 essentially, even though it's using an old so-called deprecated system. Right now I'm just in a third person template and I'm just gonna go into my assets here and you can download these. There's a bunch of Paragon ones. I really like this Paragon Murdoch one and there's this Shinbi one is the one I'm gonna look at right now. And so all I have to do, once you get it downloaded from the marketplace, you simply just go add to project. And I'm going to add it to my project 3 right here. And notice it's 5.4. So we're going to go add to project. And now I can just go back into my project. It loads pretty quickly. It's right here now. You see Paragon. And if I go into characters, and I go into heroes, and I go into Shinbi, there's this level I can open up called the animation test map. So let me click into that. And now I'm in this level. Now if I were to play, I'm going to get an error because this is out of date and it cannot find our mappings. And it can also find some other things. What we're going to do is I'm going to double click into here just to show you the problem. And I've taken notes on this. So that's why I'm going to be able to go a little bit faster on this. So this one, it's having some issues here because it can't find the yaw and the options here. And this is for VR. I don't even have VR, so I'm just going to get rid of this one. And then everything else we can fix. So these are just, so it's looking for these in the system, but it can't find it. 5.4 doesn't have them anymore. It just has the enhanced. So we're just going to restore these old ones. And then we shouldn't have any problems when we start getting into the animation blueprints then. And then later, if you want to look at upgrading to the more modern system, that is something we could explore. But for right now, I just want to restore this and get this working. You'll see here, turn rate, lookup rate. Oh, this is for the gamepad. So I don't have a gamepad either, so I'm just going to disconnect these there. But it's looking for them, and we're going to get a warning and, you know, I hate to delete these, but I'll just delete this part of it. Because I'm going to, it's looking for stuff and it can't find it. So I'm just going to delete those for the gamepad. Okay, so that takes care of those. So these are just the ones that we're looking at to restore. So there's not that many of them. This jump is actually an action mapping. So you see it doesn't give any value. It's just a an action that you do on the keyboard. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna come in here to project settings and we're gonna to go to input. And like I said, this is the old way of doing it. And see, it wants you to use a new way, but we're just gonna restore it was originally. For our action mapping here, that is just simply gonna be a jump. And so here under the name, it's important the name because it has to be named exactly. We're gonna call it jump. And we click down here, and that's going to be associated with the space bar. So we just go space bar here. And now we have some access mappings to restore. It looks like we have turn, look up, move forward, and move right. So that's four. So here we're going to go one. We come here. One, two, three, four. And the first one is turn. So we'll type in turn, and this is going to be on the mouse. So we click, oops, we click here and go to the mouse, and this is going to be on mouse X. So mouse X here, and that is a value of one. And that's it for turn. Now the next one is going to be look up. So we'll go look up. And it has to be spelled exactly. And this is on the mouse. And this is going to be mouse Y. 
and this is negative one. Okay, and then the next one is going to be move forward, and this is going to be the W, and it's right there, and it's a one. And now we can add another one on move forward, but this is going to be moving us backwards. And this is going to be S. And so we go S. And we're going to make this negative 1. And then the last one is going to be move right. And type that in there. And this is going to be A on the keyboard. Keyboard A. And this is going to be negative 1. And then the last one is, one more to add. And this is going to be D. So we'll go keyboard D. And this is a 1. And that's all of our mappings that we need to restore. So then I'll just go close this. I'm going to save, I'm going to compile this and see it found everything it was looking for. Now we have no errors. Isn't that great? Okay, so now we've restored it. Now all I have to do is if I come in here and I hit my play, there's my character and then I can use my keyboard controls and everything's fine. The only thing I don't have is this is just for PC right now. This isn't for gamepad or anything like that. But I could restore those if I wanted to, but I just am using a keyboard and mouse for this. And she goes this way, she goes that way. She's got her attack she can do. And I didn't even have to change anything for these. So anyway, that's all I had for today. I hope you found this of some help. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.